Okay, so the car is packed. This is the trunk underneath this blue thing is the the big piece of the lid. See a little bit right there. There's the small piece of the lid. And then just all kinds of tools in here. And tools and epoxy and vacuum hose and inspection port and respirator mask and epoxy cups and epoxy stuff and gloves and just lots of things that I actually hope not to use but I'm bringing it with me you know just in case I have to rework something on the installation of this thing yep that is it also check out our snazzy new sticker Tambi made that actually all right so I am loaded and ready to go to Green Cove Springs to install the water tank lid. And now I'm at Green Cove Springs. Time to install the water tank lid. Just kidding. All right, so let's see how this little end piece fits in there. Uh, that actually looks pretty nice back there. So, I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is the lid itself fits the shape of the top of the tank. It fits good. However, my holes are a little bit off. You can see that one. That one's just a bullseye. And that one is a bullseye. This one, I can't even see underneath it. So, okay. So I am probably, I'm gonna have to rework that somehow. Hey Molly. Thanks for letting me sleep in your bed, since I can't sleep in my bed, since I'm working on the water tank. You're welcome. And tell your mom thank you for letting me use her pink butterfly blanket. You said you're welcome. So it is a new day. A new day indeed. Unfortunately, there are two things I have to do to this water tank lid as modifications before I can install them. Thing number one, this is the original hardware that came out of the lid, and I intend to reuse this hardware. However, it only pokes through that far. So I have to drill out these holes deeper so that the screws will basically poke through the other side further and go into the, the water tank. And thing number two is that I have to fill this gap right here. Basically, I want a continuous lip like this all the way around the tank for the big lid to sit on because that gives me something I can I can put caulking on top of this and caulking on top of this and have a compression and that's going to give me a good seal. But if I don't have something right here to compress the caulking against, then all I'm relying on is the joint between this surface and the other surface of the uh, of the lid. That's basically just a butt joint and it would not compress the caulking and it would be a really risky way to try to seal it up. And uh, what I got to do that with is I went up to Monkey Fist Marine, the, the used uh, sailboat part place. Where did I put that thing? Oh, here it is. And I got this piece of old starboard. It looks, looks pretty crummy right now, but uh, I'm basically gonna cut this to shape uh, put it inside that crack, screw it into place, epoxy it into place, and from that point, I'll be able to install these lids, and I'll feel much, much better about, uh, you know, having a good seal around it, because otherwise I would just be putting the caulk in that crack. <laughs> All right, so I have turned that crusty old piece of starboard into these two filler pieces. It'll go right in there and fill, basically fill that hole up.
so after like five minutes of drilling and an hour of cleaning up got all the holes countersunk about a half inch more than they were initially come on <laughs> hello <laughs> the epoxy has cured on my uh small lid modifications and now it is time to install i'm going to be using this stuff this ASI Aquarium Sealant. It is an adhesive silicone that is safe for potable water and has all of those benefits right there. All good stuff. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but I got a bead of silicone going all the way around the edge. I think I'm gonna run a bead right around this too uh, before I put it on. All right, there we go. I like that mo better. All right, now. All right, this bit is installed. Feel pretty good about it. Got the hardware all torqued in there. Nice and a really good thick bead of the silicone aquarium sealant in there. And uh, I even got up underneath here and uh, basically filleted out, you know, the, uh, the, the places where the, the silicone was gushing, you know, into the tank so I, you know I, I think it's actually a really good job i don't want to use the word professional because i'm certainly far from one of those but i i will say that i think it's better than it was when it left the factory i'll just put it that way okay the next order of business is to place the big lid into its position so that i can drill and tap these holes here. There, 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 there. Uh, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to drill those holes until I know that I've got these holes, you know, lined up and the lids in the correct position. So that's what's next. All right. So just kind of have a test fit of the main lid going on. I have some good news. I have all of the hardware in, with the exception of these two. I don't know. I didn't do a good job lining up those two holes somehow, but. Everything else, I'm actually able to get the hardware in. False alarm, all of my hardware fits. I accidentally epoxied over them with the little, uh, with the fairing repair that I had going on underneath. So, <laughs> all is well. Check that out. 100% success with the hardware and uh, my remote water tank lid design. I am incredible. I mean, just leave in the comments. Just say, Ben, you are awesome. You know, that's all. So the test fit of the lid went good. Uh, I've got these holes up here drilled and tapped. I just tapped them with the hardware that's going to go in them. Uh, but now I can actually remove this, put the sealant on it, and then do the final installation with the silicone sealant. This one's going to be a little bit trickier because I have to put the silicone around here first. And then I have to put silicone around the underside of this, and then I have to carry this huge thing through there, turn it, and get it in position without covering myself or the boat in silicone. So we'll see how that goes. Now this one is in position. I'll let this set up a few minutes and then put the hardware in. All 
Um, the, the aquarium silicone sealant is curing now. Uh, all of the hardware is torqued into place, so the bulk of the work is done. This is just, uh, this is just finalizing stuff now. All right, everything is taped off. I'm about to apply just some cheap, you know, basic caulking into the crack just to fill that and fair it out. I estimated five tubes of caulking to fill that crack, and wow, I used five tubes of caulking to fill that crack. Look at that. It's kind of a shame that we're going to cover it up with, uh, you know, the V-Birth cushions. I think it's probably the best looking part of our boat. There's the countersunk holes with the hardware bedded in them. And now you can see I've got this kind of this is uh it really doesn't show up in the camera very good but that wider band there is just kind of the the cheaper filler caulking that i put all the way around the perimeter of the tank uh, i did in fact reuse the original inspection port uh, the water pipe is run I, I basically connected the old pipe to a piece of one inch id pipe and I moved the inlet port way down there towards the foot of the bed because it used to be right up here and it was just kind of in the way it was hard to, this is this is the side Tammy sleeps on and she really hated that uh, water inlet being there so I put it down there and I'll probably eventually replace this the entire hose with the uh, the one inch ID tubing uh, but for now that was just more of a project that I wanted to get into basically I have to find some kind of adapter that goes from one and a half inch to one inch but anyways that'll work just fine for now <sighs> well, there it is folks Ta -da! See you next time. <laughs>So I realize that you've been seeing a whole lot of me in our videos and not a whole lot of the ladies at all. So yeah, just kind of in a holding pattern as we uh, as we get our house ready to sell, that kind of thing. But I wanted to give you an update uh, about the ladies because you haven't seen them lately. And who better to give you an update about the ladies than the ladies. There they are. Tammy, how have things been going for you lately? You want the truth? Yeah. Not very good. You'd rather be in the islands. Is that really what you mean by that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, tell us how you really feel. I feel bored and not excited about anything that's yeah. happening. And yeah. I just feel... To give to give a little bit of context to that, because it sounds kind of dreary, yeah. uh, we've been working a whole lot on the house. Mm -hmm. I mean, for the last every month, day. every single day, we've been going over to the house and working on working on it to get it ready for sale. Mm -hmm. In a, in in addition to that, every single day you have to do you know homeschooling. Mm -hmm. So there hasn't been a whole lot of extra time for Tamby. Mm -hmm. Does that kind of sum it up for you better? Yeah. It's just not really a not really a very fun stage, but it's it's going to ultimately be worth it, right? Yes. I cannot wait to get back to the boat. Yeah, and by the way, as of uh, as of today, uh, our house should be listed within the next week, and then we can start worrying about, or you know, not worrying about, but uh, working on you know boat projects and you know not having to worry about the house so much. So we're a week away from that. Okay. Okay, Molly. How have things been going in your life? By the way, this is a very lovely shirt that you're sporting here. I like that color, pink. Yeah. Do you think that comes in my size? <laughs> Not the pink one. Not the pink one. Yeah. Okay. So what have you been up to? 
I've been up to school and helping at the house that we're trying to get ready to sail. Yeah. And I've just been playing outside on my swing at the house. Uh huh. And also been playing here, watching TV. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Just kind of hanging out, right? Yeah. How have the last uh, three months been for you? I mean, would you rather be like on the boat in, in adventure mode or do you just kind of like uh, hanging out and, you know, kind of the groove that we're in right now? What do you think? I think I like both. Both? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I got you. So, okay. So, ladies, I was trying to come up with a question. I've got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to say to wrap up this little scene here, this little update? Um, no, just. Looking forward to getting back on the boat and being in adventure mode and doing things that I enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay. All right, guys. See you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.